Hi, it's Rowena from Weymouth Bay Reflexology. This evening I'm just going to show you a routine to help soothe any stresses and strains in your neck, shoulders and back. Um, this might be particularly helpful for people that are working from home um, and possibly sitting in the wrong kind of chairs or at tables that are the wrong height. Um, or possibly even if you're working from your laptop or, or actually on your lap. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure that your osteopath or chiropractor would probably tell you that's not a great idea. But if you have to, then this can help ease some of the stresses and strains that you might be experiencing from postural problems, as well as tension, which many people tend to hold in their neck and shoulders. So first of all, um, just a little bit of a warm up uh, to help you start relaxing. Um, it's always good to say hello. So a little bit of movement like that and then what really helps to start soothing you is fairly slow and nice long strokes <clears throat> I'm going to show you both hands because it's actually quite pleasant and then you can repeat this on the palm and touching like this at this particular sort of speed is well known for creating a feeling of um, being soothed, a sensation of uh, calmness. So it's a good way to start. And then we'll do the same thing <clears throat> on the other hand. And of course, you can use these routines not just on yourself, but on other people as well. So if you've got a partner who is particularly stressed or uncomfortable, then you can help them by using these routines. Um, as usual, I will be posting up a chart or a diagram to help you locate the reflexes, which will be available on my website later on. That's weymouthbayreflexology.co.uk. And all of my other videos are also at my website, along with charts to help you. Um, if there's anything you'd particularly like me to cover, uh, then do get in touch. I'm quite happy to make more videos for you. Okay. Now I'm only going to show you this routine on one hand, but obviously work on one hand and then work on the other one. To start with, we're going to go to the solar plexus point. This is our calming point. Just in the middle of the hand, you can often feel it a little dent just in the palm of your hand and just breathe in, press and breathe out and gently relax that pressure and I'm, I'm talking about very limited amount of pressure you're not pressing to hurt yourself just pressing so that you can feel it this is another really good way of telling your body to calm down Stop stressing. Relax. And it looks like it's not very much, but if you try it and feel what it does for you, you'll understand. It's a good place to start. Okay, so we're going to be working on the reflexes for the neck, shoulders, because they're the ones most affected by postural problems. So the neck reflexes, I usually work them on either side of the thumb. Okay, so from your joint here, this one, down to the big joint here. And I will work either side here. Now you might find if you're holding tension in your neck that these points are tender. Don't worry about that, just go more gently over them and return to them, okay? So you can go back to them. You will then often find that they are less tender. So we're just going to be using a fairly light touch, gently working up the side of the neck there. And again, if you visualize the area that you're working on, think about your neck, the base of your neck, where it attaches to the main part of your body. 
whilst you're working this air reflex, the associated reflex area on the on the thumb, you you may find that you can feel sensations in your neck as well, which might be pleasant. Uh, might be noticing that your neck is a little sore. Okay, and if if you want to, you can work this other part of the thumb as well. It's all part of that great big sheet of muscle that runs from under your chin all the way down onto your neck, which holds a lot of structure for you when you're sitting. Okay, so then you've worked the neck on both sides. Um, then we're going to walk across to the shoulder points. Now the shoulder is under your little finger. You can see just here, there's the bottom of the bone. And you can work the whole of this area. You can actually work probably about to there and gently thumb walking. And again, you may find that this area is tender either on your hand or actually in your body. And that's okay, just work it, just work it out. This will help. And if you want to be extra thorough, you can work that point on the other side of your hand as well. Just give it a little rotation there. Okay. And then we're going to work the spine because obviously this is all connected. Now the spine reflex runs all the way down from your thumb, all the way down to the bottom of your hand. And I like to work from the bottom. Now this is corresponding to the lower part of your spine so this is the part where you might find if you've been sitting you might feel a bit crunchy actually in your back and you can work over this area as much or as little as you want to but I would say walk over the spine reflexes, the whole of them, at least three times. I'm doing it in segments so just gradually working my way further and further up the spine and obviously I am going a little bit quicker than I would for a treatment but that's because I'm recording a video you can take this nice and slow and in fact the slower and more intent in the, the more intent you work with the reflexes I think the better you'll find the response so and we're coming back towards the neck here. And you can just brush with one or two or three fingers just to give that a little finish. And then you can go back to your solar plexus, gently hold that area some nice deep breathing, some good proper breaths and then if you want to you can repeat the sequence but just always remember to work on your other hand. Right, that's it for today, I hope this has helped. Again if you want any specific videos then do get in touch. Thank you, bye!